Each of the three American prisoners who have been released by North Korea were accused of anti-state activities, but their arrests were widely seen as politically motivated. Here is what we know about them and their imprisonment. K.I.M. Dong Chul, 64, is a naturalized U.S. citizen of South Korean origin who was arrested on 2 October 2015. He was once a resident of Virginia but had been living in China with his wife up until his imprisonment. He owned a business in Raisin, a special economic zone of North Korea, but was accused of espionage. Little was known about his condition until January 2016, when he was introduced to a CNN news crew visiting Pyongyang. In March 2016, he appeared at a government-arranged news conference in Pyongyang and apologized for trying to steal military secrets in collusion with South Koreans. South Korea denied any involvement. Other foreigners have been presented at news conferences in North Korea and admitted crimes against the North, but many said, after they were released, that their confessions were given involuntarily and under duress. In a one-day trial in April 2016, Mr. Kim was sentenced to 10 years hard labor. Tony Kim is a Korean-American professor who was arrested during a month-long assignment as a guest lecturer at Pyongyang University of Science and Technology, POST. POST has been the only privately funded college in North Korea since its founding in 2010 with donations from Christian groups. Mr. Kim and his wife were detained at Sunan International Airport in Pyongyang on 22 April, 2017, as they waited to board a flight. Mr. Kim was subsequently arrested and imprisoned, but authorities gave no reason why. His wife was allowed to leave the country. The school said Mr. Kim's detention had nothing to do with his work at the university. He was previously based at Yanbian University of Science and Technology, Yust, in the northeastern Chinese city of Yanji, near the Chinese border with North Korea. He graduated from the University of California, Riverside, with a master's degree in business administration in 1990. He made at least seven trips to North Korea to teach. K.I.M. Hak Song is another U.S. citizen who worked at PUST and was detained on 6 May, 2017. His wife told CNN shortly after he was detained that he was an agricultural expert who had been teaching rice growing at the university. North Korea claimed he had been engaged in hostile acts against North Korea, KCNA reported. It didn't say whether his case was related to Tony Kim's. The university also said his detention wasn't related to his work at the school. It wasn't known whether Tony Kim and Kim Hak Song were formally convicted and sentenced. 